Hey guys, how's it going? So most of you have been asking us how we can scroll through multiple pages here with Task Magic. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we could do so and I am gonna use Amazon for this example. So let me just go ahead and write down Amazon, my bad. There you go. Uh, this is a small CAPTCHA you're gonna have to do the first time only and then you're gonna be signed in. Then you just go ahead and right here, type address. And let's go ahead and see which dresses would be the best, okay? So then let's go ahead and scrape a list. Let's go ahead and scrape the name in this case. I also want to go ahead and scrape how many reviews they have. Um, I also want the stars. I also want, let's say, I didn't click this one, okay. I also want the price. And yep, that's all the information I want for the moment. Uh, let me go ahead, there you go. Um, and after I have all of the elements I want to scrape, I just scroll all the way down, it's like to the next button, uh, that's the usual button you would, you would press, usually browsing, you know? So then you go ahead and click next, and that is all you have to do. And then we just have to go ahead and send all of that information that we are gonna scrape to a Google page, okay? So in this case, I already have one ready, it's called scrape multiple pages and I have one header. It is very important that you have a header in your sheet. So let's go ahead and select the sheet, uh, let's sheet one, and it's called header. Okay, so it looks good. And then we are gonna go ahead and set up a trigger, a loop through data trigger. That is all we need. Uh, we do not want to add a uh, Google Sheet data for the moment. That is in case if you wanna set up a variable, if you wanna go ahead and look for dresses and then afterwards toothbrush and then afterwards like deodorant. That is where you could go ahead and set up a variable, but for the moment, I just wanna show you real quick how we could loop through the same page five times and then scrape that information, okay? So let's go ahead and continue. I do not wanna schedule a run. And let's go ahead and erase where the captcha was because that's just a one step thing. I go ahead and erase this as well. I go ahead and see where it says dress. It says here twice, so I can erase the duplicate. And a, we have nine steps, okay? So let's go ahead and click here to refresh it. Click here to refresh. And then where we are gonna go ahead and start the loop is on step five, because that is where we are scraping many. And then we go all the way to step nine. So then it's gonna be looping from five to nine. And then after that, we just press play and the automation should be running. Okay, let's just give it a minute for it to do its magic. As you can see, it already went to another page. So let's wait a moment for it to go to the third page. And as we trigger the loop five times, it is going to do that five times. Uh, currently is on the second time. Let's wait for the third time, there you go. And then let's just wait another two more times for it to finish. And I believe it is gonna be almost done. There you go. And okay. Perfect, so the automation ran successfully, and as you can see here, we have a lot, a lot, but a lot of answers, okay? A lot of results. So yeah, that is basically how you can scrape between a lot of pages and see what are the results, okay? I hope you guys liked this tutorial, and have yourself a great day.